Yo, yo, yo. What is up, everybody? Back again with a small little review here. And I uh, recently got a few pieces in. This is the latest one I got in. And as you can see, it, it's the Marcus from Leech Creature Collectibles. Now, this is definitely uh, the latest pieces I got in. I got a few in. This is a piece that I've been after for a while. It came out early last year and I missed out on it, unfortunately. You know, I got number 148-300, so it's, you know, very limited piece. Unfortunately, I missed my uh, my chance to get it. I grabbed the Lycan maquette that goes along with this piece and, you know, I was definitely super happy with it. and Which made me regret missing out on this piece a lot more. But now I got in my collection, you know, can't be happier. Like I said, you know, I got number 148 300. Comes with this, you know, COA. And it also comes with, you know, this little booklet here, which basically shows you behind the scenes production of the piece. Oh, excuse me. And I think they do this with all their pieces. Do the same thing with the like and shows you behind the scenes and whatnot and also like directions on how to put it together like that. Definitely a nice little addition to what you're getting since you're paying, you know, a lot of money for it. Also this piece comes with a uh, nameplate. Definitely nice, a lot of weight to it. Underworld Evolution, which is basically where this character comes from. Movie that came out in 2006. And Marcus was played by a uh, act named Tony Coran, I believe the name was. But without further ado, yeah, let's get into a little review here just to show you what's going on with this piece. Now, with the base, it fits with the lichen base, which is basically a uh, I think it's a tile floor, I don't know, but a lot of rubble, a lot of pillars that fell over. You have this right here, which is, this is metal, this is metal, and chain that leads to a shackle. Now, this shackle is plastic. On the Lycan maquette, they upgraded that to a plastic. I mean, I'm sorry, they upgraded that to a uh, metal shackle, which you can actually open and close. This one you can't. If you try to, you break it. But um, I can see why they upgraded it to a, a metal one. Because, you know, it's just better quality. Might as well. As you can see here on the uh, the pillow that fell over, what she's standing on. Got a Celtic knot. And there's another metal chain with a shackle here. On the back side of that. Another fell over the pillar. Not the pillar right here. I mean, you can just see the quality in the sculpt is incredible. With ECC, I mean, you're basically getting the prototype that you see. This is the piece that you're going to get. Same thing. I mean, when you have Steve Wang and Mio Nakamura sculpt and you got Casey Love on the paint, I mean, you're not going to get better. I'm talking about all stars here. Now, I was able to get this piece. I live in the States. I was able to get this piece from um, Pop Culture, based out in Australia. And um, those of you who live in the States, if you ever wondered about that company and you saw them, you know, pass by the website and you weren't sure, those guys, you know, Class A guys over there. I dealt with uh, Toby and customer service when I was trying to get after this piece. And, uh, you know, guy was amazing, 100% helpful, helped me out, you know, with shipping, because I need to get a quote, because I live in the States, and whatnot, they got back to me right away, and once they got my payment, P shipped out the same day, and I was able to get him within a week, 
and you're talking about a box I mean the box is tremendous so we 73 pounds and to get it within a week you know DHL delivered it I got no complaints it came obviously in perfect condition no damage to the box no damage to the piece no complaints whatsoever so as you can see with the pose you may think there might be a leaning issue later further on down the line, but a lot of the weight is in the, the lower half of his body and the wings basically weigh nothing. They look incredible. They look like polystone, but they're not. I'll show you right now. I mean, look at the quality of that sculpt and that paint. I don't even know what they made up of. But they, you know, they weigh basically nothing. And that's why the pose is able to get away with the way it is without any leaning issues. I mean, look at that. Incredible. Massive. 45 inches wide, the wingspan. And, um, oh, duck under here. Height wise, from uh, the base, that right there, that joins the, you know, the height, the highest point, it's about 35 inches. And the width of the base is about 12. I mean, you can see the quality of the, uh, the belt here. Sculpt, great. And this fabric, the uh, mixed media, it's like suede. I'm not even kidding. I don't even know. I don't even know what it is exactly, but you can see it's like pieces of suede, and they all come with the wires in them, so you can basically bend on the weight the way that you want. I suck at that type of stuff, so I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I mean, I did the best I could for the review. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but um, no. You can see, you bend it the way you want. That's gonna be that. So, I'll play with that for a while. But uh, onto the body himself. As you can see, the skin texture. paint, veins, I mean, you really are talking prototype quality. And with 300 main, that's what you expect. And that's what you get, you know. Show you side portrait, look at that. Nuts. Super happy with this piece, guys. Really am. There is a gap where you attach the wings. That's just, you know, nature of the beast right there. I mean, what the more you can do with that. I'm not complaining. see the detail the tension the detail that comes with that sculpt and the paint job amazing I'm trying to get you a better close-up of his face and better light 
when I got these LED lights above me, so it's kind of like preventing me from giving you the best lighting for this. I apologize for that, but I'm trying to do the best I can here. But this is, I mean, this is it, guys. This is a uh, definitely grail for me. Like I said, after getting him up there, I needed to get this piece. And finally, here he is in my collection. After about a year of hunting him down, like I said, hats off to Pop Culture. Thank you for helping me out. One thing that may not show up is, uh, yeah, it's not gonna, but anyway, they give this, uh, his claws, this high gloss black paint. Let's see if it comes up. Sorry guys. There you go. Anyway, this is high gloss black paint on here. It looks incredible. Obviously, it's not going to show up on camera, but I promise you, looks great. But here he is. I appreciate you guys for watching. A little bit of my collection here. Here he is. And uh, I have him displayed down here on my coffee table here for a little while. A little man cave here, but uh, after he's done there, he's gonna go up here next to his buddy in this open space. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, appreciate it, and uh, happy collecting, guys! Happy holidays, take care, peace.